The next field here to look at is the options field, which is a field that's not used very often in IPv4, but it is used to indicate that I'm doing something a little bit different, like one example of loose source routing. Now, loose source routing can be used for evasion attacks. However, when it is used, it is often defining a partial route list for a packet to take on its journey from the source to the destination. So within this packet, we can use loose source routing to say, I want you to take this path. And only part of the path is set in advance, but it is a partial route list that tells me what way I want to take. Now there are other types of options. There is strict source routing, which is also used for evasion. In this case, every single step of the route is decided in advance, and you have a full route list listed here in the options field. There's also the record route option. That is used for reconnaissance attacks. That actually records the IP address of the devices along the path while it travels. So again, it tracks the path that we take. Again, used for recon, not necessarily something that we want to have happening. And there's also the record timestamp option, which is also used for recon attacks. So when a device receives a packet in the transit path, this option creates a list of addresses of each of those devices and the duration of transmission between each one of them.